Yeah, I know, I know. He's already heard from me three times in the last eight days, but that's okay. He's gonna hear from me again. Because we just went and saw Carlos again, and that one was getting very excited. What happened today? Oh, yeah, we went and showed him, showed him a video. And again, I have my testimony and has been strengthened on two things just now. One is the power of inspiration of what to show. We decided to show, what do you call it in English? You know? Well, it's called Un Legado. How rare a possession. There you go. Un Legado Singular. And it's an hour about how important it is to have the Book of Mormon. How blessed we are to have it and how we shouldn't neglect it. And that was really, to me, from what I understand from his feedback, was exactly what he needed because he, even though he's still really interested in investigating the church, he hasn't read the Book of Mormon in like over a week. It got me kind of worried. Uh, when he told us that we didn't even know that until after he watched the video. But that really got him thinking. I, I really thought he pondered really hard on that. He decided he was going to start reading again. Which is which is the other thing. The second thing that my testimony is growing on is the power of the media. Never, ever underestimate the power of church media. I mean... You could just as easily think, oh, you're showing a movie. What can a movie do, right? A movie created by, you know, inspired minds on specific topics used in, in, a, in a specific environment can be some of the most powerful missionary tools one can have, especially as someone like me coming from the television generation. It really just opens minds. It opens makes people think about stuff in other ways they wouldn't have before. You know, it's an excellent way of communication. Powerful tool. It was really cool. And I was happy we got that through. And that was all really cool excited. We're going to go see him again in two days. But the other cool thing I was really excited about tonight was we might be getting an investigator back. A guy named Ignacio that I met like once my first month here. And then he's just started brushing us off as far as time goes. I mean, I understand. I, mean, I believe him. He had stuff to do. He just didn't make time for us. And this last few couple of weeks, we didn't make time for him, not even to call him. But I called him up, and he was, like, excited. I tried to set an appointment for Saturdays. So, oh, well, what about tomorrow? You know, he just wanted to see us sooner. He's got time in the afternoon now to get his work schedule and all this other stuff is getting in the way. We've got a clear schedule with him. This guy is interested in reading. He loves listening to what we have to teach. And we got someone else that we're going to put back in, in our teaching pool. And that's something I'm really excited about. So once again, here we see it. Blessings coming in.